Hello everybody, my name is Giuliano. In this video I'll show you how you can automate a release for Logic App on Azure DevOps. We will go through an example and I'll show you also how you can read and consume an Azure Key Vault secret in Logic App. Let's check it together. Here I am with my Visual Studio Code instance opened and I have my Logic App here which is called a template.json. This is the error template of this logic app. It means that we have just one file, JSON file, which identify the logic app. And here is described everything about this logic app. The business logic, it's here, describe it. We will go through later. Now I'll want to show you another file, which is the parameters test.json. Best practice is to have parameters and differentiate parameter for every environment. In my case, I have test and production. This means that I have two files per environment. Now, before to go through the logic app, I want to show you that I installed an extension for Visual Studio Code. This allow me to display the logic app in a user-friendly way by displaying the logic app as in the Azure portal by seeing the logic app in divided in blocks. In order to do that, you have to click on the extension and uh, as you can see here, we have the extension for logic app already installed. Azure logic apps provided by Microsoft. Now, how we can use this extension? You have to click here on on Azure button and then there is the section logic apps. I am already logged in with my Azure uh, subscription and uh, here is listed the, the logic app POC C C D which it means continuous integration continuous delivery. Now what I can do here is open in designer this logic app. And the cool feature that we have here, as I announced, is the possibility to, to display the logic app in a user-friendly way. We have in this logic app just three blocks. It's pretty easy. We have an HTTP request as a trigger. Then we have initialize variable secret because, as I announced in the introduction of this video, I wanted to reference Azure Key Vault secret, this logic app. I want to read this secret. This way the logic app can, can work with this secret. And then I want to send this secret per email. We have just a subject and then in the body insert the variable secret, which contain the value that is read from Azure Key. Another way to read and work with this logic app is by opening directly the Azure portal. As you can see here, and this, we, in this resource group, we have this logic app created, and we are now in the logic apps designer. Here, the classic way how you can work with logic app directly on the Azure portal. I have here my three blocks and I can work on it. I can also switch in the code view and this means that I can directly type inside of this JSON and add logic block in my logic apps. Going back to the designer, now I want to show you that we have this value in the Azure Key Vault secret. Well done. Now to show you that I added already this, this value, I will open another tab in my browser and, I, and then I will go on my resource group POC. Here we have the POC secrets, my Azure Key Vault, and then we have secrets here, key. I'll show you the value just immediately, show secret value, as you can see here, is well done. If you are not familiar with Azure Key Vault, I recommend you to go through about this Azure resource, which give you great uh, way to 
store secrets, password, connection, string, every everything. Now, going uh, back to my Visual Studio Code, we have two, two view here. We have the, the JSON and we have the, the friendly UI in order to edit my Logic App. I will close now the editor here and I will be focused on the JSON file because I want to change the, the text here just to show you in the demo that the deploy perform well. We have here in the body this text, this is the and then the, the value of the secret and this is the, the subject. Now I want to change this to value. We will perform the release and then we will check if the deploy went well. Changing the subject, I want to add now YouTube demo and the same in the in the body. Okay. Now by saving this, we are sure that we can commit this change and text change it. I would save that. I will push this to my repository on Azure DevOps. I'm switching now on the Azure DevOps project. We have just one task here, as I said before, and we have to create manually the release because I the continuous integration is not enabled for this project. I will do that. I will create a release 9 and then I will open this release in order to to click on deploy and then we start the deploy. So now the deploy is, is started. I'll show you an important configuration to do in the in the Azure Key Vault in order to read the secret. Otherwise you get an access denied. You have to go in the access policy and you have to check this value, Azure Resource Manager for template deployment. This means that when you reference an Azure Key Vault secret, let's select the parameter test JSON. When you select and reference an Azure Key Vault secret here, in order to get and read this value, you have to check this, this value, this checkbox. Otherwise, you will get an access denied. This is the way how you can reference an Azure Key Vault secret. You have to select, you have to add the ID, which is the URL of this secret. It is the, the description, the GUID subscription. And then you have to insert here the name of this secret, in my case, POC secrets. Now, hopefully the, the release is completed. We can open again this logic app, refresh the logic app, going in by edit. And if I click here, we can see that we have new value here. The deploy is, has been successfully made. It's important that the developer doesn't have the possibility to, to open the Logic App that directly in production for security reason. This should be only possible for the system engineer eventually. So then, as I said, this are the option you can work in Visual Studio Code or in Visual Studio. This is totally up to you, or in the classic way by open Azure uh, Azure portal. That's it. As we have seen the, the entire release of this of this logic app. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please give the thumbs up to this to this video and subscribe to my channel to get notification about next videos. I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.